Hey guys, my name is Ellie Greenwood and in this video I'm going to expand on my tile set that we currently made in the previous part. I really suggest you to check it out. You can find the link in the description down below or you can click the notification on the video itself. Now before I start I want to fix one mistake that I missed out on the previous video. I just missed out a few things about these tile sets, especially when we're talking about the grass. Now you probably noticed that I have these two tiles right here. They are quite important when it comes to the grass. Now I built an example in this area and as you can see these tiles specifically are needed because these tiles act as a corners or as a midsection of the wall that is quite important to have because otherwise this is what it looks like if it was missing it looks like it's been cut off this tile is needed in the middle part so in this part before i start drawing new tiles i'm going to show you how to draw these tiles so to be honest it's really really easy all you have to do is just create a new layer and then from the first layer just take dirt tiles put them right here you can use two of them but just to see for the reference i'm going to use three of them so now i'm going to take this tile right here full tile of the grass but you can take corners as well it doesn't really matter as long as you have half of the tile from each part and i'm going to copy it into another layer drag this tile right over here then create these two tiles right here the main point is just basically to get these tiles connect properly the tile has a dot right in the middle so what we can do at this point we can just remove these parts from here you don't really need to worry about drawing back the dirt tiles because another layer is doing this job for us that's why we're using two layers just like that we can just delete part of the grass tiles like this now normally I usually delete around in the gap area and it's around somewhere in the middle of the tile. A simple circular edge, two, one and two going down. And just like that, you have one tile already finished. It just took me seconds to create this tile. Very easy, simple stuff. Same thing on the other side. Just find like a middle section somewhere around here where the gap is. Remove half of the tile away. And just like that, we have another tile. And if you can see by the outline, this is where you can draw it. The same thing, two, one and two. Using this kind of a pattern, we can make this grass look as if it's rounded and with that we have another tile finished of course if you want you can modify the uh, shading on some parts but you don't really need to do much at this point anymore and that's how I made these two tiles as you can see it just took me a couple of seconds merge the layers together and we can just remove this middle tile put them back together and as you can see I got the same result now if you watched my previous video you probably seen that I had these outlines in different colors dark brown or just dark green on the top but in this part I decided to go back to the main shape and just have black outlines the main reason is that it's consistent and consistency is very important when it comes to tile sets you want to make sure that all the tiles fit together and that's why I decided to go with this kind of a visual and that's why I decided to stick with these black outlines it will save a lot of time and it just looks consistent but if you don't like them obviously your choice what you prefer and what colors you want to choose I'm here just to share my knowledge with all of you. All right, so let's start with the main part. For this video, I decided to add two more tiles to this set, and it's going to be stone tiles. And I think it's just interesting to expand this tile set and just see where whole set will turn out. And it's just fun to draw them, to be honest. So yeah, let's start with creating a new sprite just by clicking at the top corner you're gonna get a new window we need to set it 16 by 16 enable tile mode if you watched my previous video you already know how to do that 
but if not i'm just showing it to you again all right let's start now when it comes to stone tiles it's pretty easy you just choose a gray color and just yeah that could be it at this point but we want to have this extra type of a detail that has at least three colors minimum within the tile now for this stone tile it's very simple what i like to use is just light and darken tool and then just hold shift and i will get lighter color Control shift to get a darker color for the main color i've chosen a middle color of the gray usually i go for the middle but if you want you can go lighter or darker it's really up to you now the reason i'm using lighten and darken tool it gives me a locked in tones because just like that i can have same tone difference of the color that i've chose this tool has been very useful throughout my pixel art work and I haven't seen a single software that has this tool that works this perfectly, at least for me. But if you have different softwares, feel free to use them. Just make sure that you feel comfortable with them and easy to work with. We're gonna save the palette just so we wouldn't lose the colors, even though it doesn't really matter much. With these kind of a colors, I just like to draw lines just like that three pixel lines i'm just drawing them basically in random places just like that then i just select the darken tool and just fill up the rest of the spots like that in somewhat random pattern best thing would be just avoid making them line up and just like that we kind of created an interesting looking stone tile from the far distance it looks decent but it's not good enough so i'm just going to start over just to play around and see what interesting pattern i can get So this is the pattern that I came up with. It's just dots and lines at this point. I'm just seeing what works best and what micro changes can be added just to make the tile look as nice as possible. I think I managed to break this line pattern. I just wanted to make it as random as possible, but of course it's quite difficult to work with such a limited area. Well, it looks fine, it looks pretty good. So we're gonna take it and let's see how this tile will play out in our set. So we're gonna expand this tile set downwards. So it's gonna be this option and we're gonna set it on 128. Create new layer so we could copy this tile right here. Now the reason why we need to add new layer because when we're copying tile from this place right here, it always pastes at the top left corner. These things you need to consider when using this software. If you copy something from this section into another work, it's gonna be created in the same location from the top corner. It has quite a complicated copy-paste system between two projects, but just minor things that you need to consider. So now as you can see, I put stone tile right here and I can clearly see that it fits quite well. Consistent, the style fits very well so now we're going to turn this stone tile into the same set just like we did with the dirt because it doesn't have any grass no details so we can just work with it right on 
while rewatching my own video just to see if I made any mistakes or something like that I actually learned one thing all you have to do is just to copy the same tile across the whole 4x4 grid just like that it only works with simple tiles that just doesn't have any crashes or stuff like that you can copy the same tile across all the boards well it works only if you have smooth outlines just like i have draw the black outlines of course that's just my choice you can choose your own color i delete corners as well just because it makes the tile look slightly more cartoonish and it just helps to separate the groups and just like that we created a stone tile set so now that we got the stone tiles, there is no point of making cobblestone tiles at the moment. In this kind of a style, it would be slightly difficult to come up with some cobblestone tiles. However, I do want to fit in this spot right over here. So I'm thinking about adding a final simple tile, which is sand tiles. Because having multiple biomes in the same game, it's not that bad. So let's go back to the tile mode, remove this tile, and then we are going to select a color. Maybe something like this. Hmm, seems like I'm going to have to play with the, some colors to see what kind of tone I should select. After playing around, this is the tone that I decided to select. And let's see what the tones of the shading are. Looks pretty good. Now sand is pretty simple to work with. All we have to do is just select these two colors with the light and darken tool and then just spam dots all over the place like that. It just took a couple of seconds to make this tile. Very easy and it looks pretty well. Let's take this tile to the, to the main set. It looks that it fits the style as well of the overall set. So now we're gonna do the same thing, copy the same tile. And just like that, we have a nice set of tiles. As you can see, the method is pretty simple. And since I rewatched my first video, I learned that all it takes is just one tile, copy across, add outlines, and you will have a variation of tiles that you can build your world with. But if we are playing with the grass tiles, I think it is important to have these tiles where the grass ends just in case so i'm going to perform a very quick way of getting these grass parts onto these tiles so i'm just going to copy these two tiles right here create a new layer and just paste them on top and i'm going to select all pixel paint and just remove the brown colors and just keep the grass and just the black dot apply the layers and following this pattern right here double toe down color and just draw just draw the same pattern And there we go. It might seem that these tiles are quite weird, but I think they make sense. As you can see, we will have a nice cut between these tiles. I think it's much better to have these tiles like this instead of like this. But it's just good to have just in case. And if you want to have a part where the grass just ends, but the surface is still flat, for example, like here, you can just pretty much just add black outline here like this and it will do the job. But that means creating extra more tiles. So we're just gonna take this set 
I'm gonna copy these tiles right here and just add outlines on top. That way we will have even more variations if we need flat surface or something like that, at least with this specific style. And that's pretty much it. At this point I'm just expanding the set because it's quite fun and interesting. It looks pretty nice, pretty simple. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. You can find links in the description down below that leads to other tutorials if you want to learn how to use PSGO app and stuff like that. And if you have any suggestions that you would like to see me draw, make sure to leave a comment. I hope you learned something new or just enjoyed watching this and I'll see you soon.